Today we're going to look at a proof where we're given the measure of angle 8 equals 30 degrees, the measure of angle 9 equals 90 degrees, and we're trying to prove and show that the measure of angle CPY equals 120 degrees. So as with all of our proofs, we're going to start with our givens. So our first statement is that the measure of angle 8 equals 30 degrees, and the reason is that we are given that information. Statement number two, our second piece of given information is that the measure of angle 9 is equal to 90 degrees, and that is also given. And so now the next piece of information moving forward is now that we have our given statements listed, there were three key questions. Is anything the same? And so if I look at my two proofs, or I'm sorry, my two statements, I have measure of angle 8 equals 30, measure of angle 9 equals 90. I cannot do any substitution with those. The second key question was, is there a key word? And again, looking at my statements, I have no words, so I, there is no key word. And then the third statement is, or the third key question was, is there a diagram? And what can I conclude from that? And so looking at my diagram and looking at what I'm trying to prove, I'm trying to show that the measure of angle CPY equals 120 degrees. And so I see that angle CPY is the large angle and that angle 8 and angle 9 make up my angle. So one of the um, ideas we discussed in class was that a larger angle is made up by two smaller angles and so I can say that the measure of angle CPY y is going to be equal to the measure of angle 8 plus the measure of angle 9 using the angle addition postulate. Now going back to my key questions, is, that, is anything the same? With statement 1 I see measure of angle 8 equals 30 well, in the third statement that I just wrote, I also see I have a measure of angle 8. So what I can do is I can take 30 degrees and put that in place of angle 8. And my fourth statement would be measure of angle CPY equals 30 degrees plus the measure of angle 9. And what I've done is I've substituted 30 in place of angle 8. So I have used the substitution property and I use steps 1 and 3 in writing that statement and so I'm going to cross those off since I've used those statements. Going back to the key questions again is anything the same? So I have statements 2 and 4 left over and so I see in statement number 2 measure of angle 9 equals 90 so in my fourth statement that I have left, I also see a measure of angle 9. So this 90 degrees is going to go in place of angle 9. And so my fifth statement is the measure of angle CPY equals 30 degrees plus 90 degrees. And again, I've substituted 90 in place of angle 9 and I used steps 2 and 4 and so I'm going to cross those off because I've used them. Now the last um, item now that I have is I have statement 5 and I have no other statements. And again if I look at what I'm trying to prove measure of angle CPY equals 120 degrees. Well we know if we simplify 30 plus 90 we know that equals 120, so the measure of angle CPY equals 120 degrees. And I've simplified the information in statement number 5. Now some of you might be asking, well can't we just substitute all at once? Now in proofs, again we're listing every single detail of how did we get from the beginning to how do we get to the end. So we only list one detail one step at a time so that way um, we're clear and concise with the information that we have and how we're getting to the end.